This is the grave of Henry N. Whitman, who died in Yazoo City in January 1842. And in this area, we have the grave markers of several of the nuns of the Sisters of Charity, who came to Yazoo City to establish a school in 1871. I'm Charlie Carlisle, and I started working with the cemetery tours around 1980. I've led many of them in the half mile tour that we have. Cemeteries are for the living, they're not for the dead. People can come to this cemetery and read the stones and learn about the history of Yazoo City and the important people who have made this town what it is today. This is the gravestone of Peter Goosey. He's remembered for helping to develop the first underwater contact mine. These two graves are a mystery. These two guys claim to be the grandsons of John Hancock. On this gravestone is this inscription. Here lie two grandsons of John Hancock, the first signer of the Constitution. Well now we know that is incorrect because John Hancock signed the Declaration of Independence. And from what we know about John Hancock, he had two children. Lydia Hinchman Hancock, who died as an infant at the age of 10 months, and his son who died in 1887. So it is a mystery how these two guys claim to be the grandsons of John Hancock. Many people come here though to see the witch's grave. <laughs> Many years ago, there was a mean and ugly woman. Late one afternoon, a boy was passing by her house when he heard a terrible, ungodly moan. What he saw chilled his blood and bones. Two dead men were stretched out on the floor of the parlor, and the old woman was singing some dreadful incantation, waving her arms in diminished circles all the while. The sheriff chased the old woman into the swamps. She shouted, I shall return. I will break out of my grave and I will burn down the whole town. They buried a woman's body in the center of the town cemetery. Around the grave, they put the heaviest chain they could find. 20 years later, the day after the big fire of 1904, several citizens visited the old woman's grave and the chain had been broken by some supernatural strength. Like the old woman, who was half ghost and half scarecrow, but all witch. <laughs> and that's the story of various persons who are buried here in Glenwood Cemetery in Yazoo City, Mississippi. Come visit us and we'll take you on the complete tour.